Done it. Little bit left. And there we go. Got a bit of support layers to clear. I'll let it cool down before I start playing with it. I've cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, I need to actually glue the wheels onto the hubs. Those are 3D printed hubs. Bicycle spokes for the axles. We need a rubber band. And go and test it. But we'll do, do that tomorrow. It's one o'clock in the morning. Hi guys. Put a rubber band on it. 0454 Glorious Jaban. Uh, inspired by a rubber band powered car toy I spotted in a charity shop. And I thought, I don't want to buy it, but I'll see if I can 3D print something similar. So that's what we have here. The name, Glorious Jaban, that's simply the random name that Tinkercad automatically allocates to new files. You can change it to what you like. I just thought Glorious Jaban sounded rather fancy. Um, Let's have a little look at the car now that I've assembled it. It's supposed to be a chap laying on his back and looking forwards. If I say a chap, I'm not supposed to say chap nowadays, am I? A person <laughs> laying on their back, looking forwards. We will attach a rubber band here. In the uh, original model, there was a spike sticking up there, and I thought that was possibly suggestive. So I've got a hole that I'm going to tie the rubber band round. The rubber band goes over his head, and then we wrap it round the back axle. And the purpose of the head is actually when the rubber band drops off the axle, when it's unwound, it doesn't shoot off forwards it stops there because if you just had a peg there which the original had there then the rubber band would fly off up the room somewhere whereas if it hits the head it will stop itself so you can reuse it easily i bought these rubber bands in poundland i'm gonna roll away that probably is now isn't it Let's put it on the floor so we don't lose it. Right, yeah, bought these in Poundland. I've had similar before, and they've been all right. They're not big. And I don't think they're rubber. I think they're probably um, silicon. Does it tell us? No. Well, it says rubber bands, 50. But I say I don't think they're rubber. So the idea is I'm going to push it through that hole, which you can't see me doing because my fingers are in the way. Then through itself. So that is now attached to the front. And then over his head for now. Then to put it on the back axle, Just wrap it over itself. It's got to go over itself, and that will hold itself in place. There we go, that's holding itself in place. And then let it go. So the wheels keep running. And we haven't lost the rubber band because it stopped on the back of his neck. So we'll give that a try. See how far we go. I 
I'm hoping we don't get too much wheel spin. Whoa, that worked. <laughs> okay, we'll see if we can hit the camera. So that works absolutely fine. Single rubber band and we're doing, uh, what's that? That's about eight meters, my kitchen and conservatory. And it's hitting the wall hard at the end so it can clearly do more than eight meters. I didn't mention these hubs for the CDs are 3D printed. Uh, axle is a bicycle spoke and the wheels are CDs. If you find you've got too much power and the wheels are spinning rather than going forwards, then you need to put something around the rim. You can cut a balloon up into strips and stretch that round there and that'll give you extra grip, like putting rubber tires on. I like to cut up old rubber gloves because they're a bit thicker and they last longer. But it didn't need it, it worked fine. So. There you go. Glorious Jaban. Um, I'll put a link in the video description so you can download the files if you really want to.